Hey you guys, it's Blast 53 here with a After Effects tutorial on how to do a muzzle flash tutorial. And as some of you guys may know, this is Nico from Cordova Digital, so please check them out. I'll have their links in the description, they make awesome editing videos. So please check them out. And now we will be talking about on how to do a muzzle flash. So first you will need to download a muzzle flash picture from Google or any other website you would know or you got a software that has pictures of muzzle flashes. Next, driving in your timeline, and then next step would be to um, resize it and to make it match up with your actor's gun. Just resizing it, trying to make it perfect, and you have to get it to the right size to where it goes. Next, you're gonna have to change it to add so that the black part, the black end of the um, muzzle flash will go away. Yeah, that's pretty perfect, and change the rotation a little bit, and yeah, it looks pretty nice so far. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on the muzzle flash on where to resize it and all that. And so next step, you will be changing it all the way to one frame only, because you will only be changing it to one frame, so it'll only be there for one, like, like probably a millisecond or something or just a second but still you would only need to have it for only one frame long have a longer the horrible so it looks pretty nice so far if you just skim through it just go back and forth and you'll see what it looks like so next we're gonna add some light around him so all you gotta do is click on to your video shot and what you're gonna do is duplicate it by clicking command D on a Mac and I don't know how to do it on PC uh, but next you're gonna add on one of them click add and um, after that you click the pen tool which is up there and yeah right there and next we're gonna have to do is mask all the parts where you think there's gonna be um you know light so I'm just gonna be lighting around his arm and a little bit of his hand and the gun the gun handle mm, yeah and next his head depending on where your actor is facing at because apparently in this um scene you can see that his head would be affected by the light um so if you if your actor is not close to the gun muzzle f the gun's muzzle flash you shouldn't um put the muzzle flash on the face not just because i did it but if your actor is close to the muzzle flash then yeah that's what you would be using so just got to finish up this last part where the muzzle flash would be showing, which should be on the leg. Let's extend it out. Mm, yeah, almost done. Just got to make it a little longer. And I am done with that. So next what you're going to have to do is go to your masks and to you have to stop them all so you click on the first one and then hold shift and then tap on the last one and open them all up and then bring up the um, the mask feather all the way up a little bit not too much but all the way up oh wait I just forgot something um we're gonna have to go to ellipse tool so you can ellipse your muzzle flash so it can be um much more lighter have a lot more light just like the other parts that are lit up so once you have added that, sorry I messed you up guys, I'm so sorry. You open that one and then you select the mu mask feather and then you select them all again. Go all the way to the top of where your masks are and then you select them and then you should bring up the mask feather. Once you have brought up all the mask feathering of all the uh, items that you need that are supposed to be glowing, you should be done with that part so next we are gonna keyframe it all by wait wait, wait never mind, sorry um, we're gonna have to bring up the mask feathering a little bit more only on the um the muzzle flash nothing else just the muzzle flash and after that we should be done with all the masks and so the next part is that we will go to transform and click on that and we will be using opacity so that we can, um, wait, let me delete these keyframes. I used this for example earlier. 
Um, so next we're gonna have to click opacity on the first at the beginning of the keyframe when he where the lights are, where it lights up and when he has the um, muzzle flash, and then we turn it off when he doesn't have any on the muzzle flash. So it goes from there to there without no muzzle flash. So as you can tell that's yeah, that's pretty much it on the um opacity. So now if we just bring this all the way up until where he shoots after I this makes this clip one frame long too because the edge of that needs to be one frame too. So next all you gotta do is check out the final results by clicking spacebar and he shoots bam one shot. As you can tell that looked pretty amazing to me actually. It looked like a pretty amazing shot. As you can see I'm shooting his gun one more time. Bam. The light appears right when it comes and then it goes right after. So it's fresh. So yeah guys that's pretty much it on how to make a muzzle flash in After Effects CS5 and any other type of After Effects program. So if you like this video please subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to Corridor Digital and you know what else favorite this video and like it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out